So Sachin's question was, when I was saying to him that uh, I can remember one past life. So the question is, who is this person talking about past life? I think we have spoken over it, but it is better to understand how this whole thing works. And uh, yes, how can you say it is my past life? That and that is which, which, which will be the continuation of that, right? First of all, you should know you exist, and then only you will come to know. Now, what is the basic definition of life? The basic definition of life is continuity. Simple. Existence is or continuation is life. Now, as much as you know you exist right now, you also know you existed in the past when you go into the this jhana. Meaning, when you come to that bright light, it can throw itself on that particular nama rupa. So when I say it's a nama rupa. It is actually, in a sense, Atma, but it is not a permanent entity or an absolute entity. See, the difference between the Vedanta way of looking at things and the Buddha way of looking at things is that Vedantis are not wrong, but they get into absolute sense. In absolute sense, Atma exists. That means it exists all the time. So now you require another thing called as Parama Atma. That means something which is beyond that. So then you have to merge between Atma and Parama Atma. Because now we have two things. One is an Atma which is residing in the body of every being which knows everything and it's continuing. It's continuing. Right? And that continuation knows what it was existing as because it has memory. Just like you have memory right now that you are you were a child, even though there was no child as such, but you still refer to yourself as a child and not just as a conventional sense. In the real sense, you know you are a child. You went to the school, not the body went to the school. So, in the same way, the Nama Rupa with Vinyana, that is the magician, gives that impression that I am that person who existed in that life. Now, whatever we are calling Nama Rupa is a combination of factors. Nama on one side and the Rupa on the other side. So the best practice for Nama and Rupa is Maha Nidana Sutta, the origin. Nidana is the origin. What is the origin? From where does it start? Avijja, Pache, Sankhara means what? What is Avijja and what is Sankhara? Sankhara, Pache means what? What is this Sankhara and Pacheya Vinyan? Like that. So the interest, what we should be having, when I say we and I and you and all that, is to understand what is this Nama and Rupa. Without that knowledge, that is Vakkantiya Sati Nama Rupa, we will be missing it because that Smriti in Sanskrit, Sati in Pali, is memory. You remember. It's not that you are doing something to remember. The chitta remembers every damn thing there. Just like if you meet your childhood friend and you were to go to the school, near the school, not even the school, near the school, you are immediately, even though whatever your age might be, immediately the mind, that is the chitta, takes you and your friend to that school and to that bench, to that situation, and don't you feel I was sitting in that class? Yes, Jin, go ahead. So, this is not different from Namagunta. So, can we say that uh, 
ಚಿತ್ತ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಇದು ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಒನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ನಾಮ ಗೊತ್ತ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕಾಶಿಕ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೈ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ನೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ every damn detail even though that place don't even exist right now but you will remember and you both will be talking about that for hours together you know how that teacher was uh, doing this you remember that day when we were eating this and how that person was looking at how you have no uh, the body is different the situation is different what i'm talking is 25 30 years ago if i am in my 35 year let's say like are you then i am talking uh, what happened like 25 years ago if a 10 year old if i am talking to my friend i am 52 or going to be 52 if uh, i meet my friend and we both talk about the school it will be 10 year old why that why struggle so much i and my wife have studied in the same school and we were classmates we always talk about it how do we talk and in fact we even rag each other that you did not give me uh, i i i tell her when we bought um, a mango piece and you did not give me that piece on that day and she said i gave it to you you did not remember right so but am i now in a act that i know i am her husband does she know she is my wife does do both of us know that we have a child and she himself is 22 year old no when the chitta goes there you become the child so why can't it go back it can go back so from where so this is coming we, it's coming from nimitta is the password nimitta is nimitta is just a password yes nimitta is just a password so when the situation arises the nama gotta from there you will pick up that record and say ha you you were doing that on that day uh, you were doing this on that day now the question comes how would you ever know the body change now my question is how would you go back to that childhood age the body is not the same nowhere it is same Na- in in fact if i watch my wife's photograph in her third grade school there is no relation from the face onwards to what he looks now but still i call her my wife still i call her my friend isn't it stupidity in 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 that way yes sir uh, i think the we're trying to understand how when we see a past life a friend in the past life we're able to recognize them right is that what yes yes like your wife's case i mean you have that continuity sort of so you're able Forget to your wife i'm talking a friend a friend a friend yeah. whose body yeah. is double the size than what he was in the school yeah. right and when we meet we go back to that body we don't go back to this body you please understand that i think this is true but i mean at least in this life right you no. you can see sort of no that is where the mistake is you are thinking this life and that life and that life as far as the chitta goes its job is to light up everything yes yeah even even wife let's say even wife goes out for a week and comes back yes because you recognize her by nimitta only not by saying that Oh, what is there it is my she is my wife not like that no exactly is... exactly yes yeah. i think there is a slight difference i mean let me maybe you can hear my thinking like let's say a friend when they are young and let's say a, a friend that you recognize when he's 5 year old and now he's 30 you run into him on the street you may not recognize him but later he show the picture oh this is me and then you 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 connect the dots you say oh this is the person so just by seeing this 30 year old you may not have the nimitta to go back to that 5 year old 
in the same way, I'm, I guess I'm wondering what nimitta allow you to go to recognize that past life friend, which will have even less resemblance in that sense. That is what is explained in Samana Pala Sutta. If your chitta is bright, it say, he says that you have to make your mind go there. That you have to create that nimitta, otherwise nothing is shown. Mm. If you, yeah, go ahead. Oh. I, I guess my, my question was around the recognizing of part. Yeah, that of is what he has explained, uh, Ari. You so, you know, recognizing who you are going to do, you are only going to do it. Mm. You as the chitta is going to light that place and going to see. He says, why don't I now put this light on my past life? If you read that English also, he has put that. There's an intention. Yes, yes. So let, let's pass that for now. Let's take again this five-year-old, thirty-year-old example. In this thirty-year-old, when when you see him, you cannot. Even if you are able to go back to five-year-old, you you cannot make that connection, right? This connection is presented later when you show a photo, and you because you know the name, you're able to recognize. No, that's what you're you're answering your own question. Are you see the question is how does it? You are saying there is a nimitta required. Photograph is a nimitta. Right? So there is something that is required for it to start processing. In the same way, in the Samana Panasutta, what he says is that you need to intend to go back your past life and then only it goes there. Otherwise, it can't. Okay. Maybe you were not quite understanding, but it's, it's okay. No. Go ahead. Let us solve it. Yeah. No, uh, I'm, I'm just saying, when I run into someone on the street who is 35-year-old, even though he was my childhood friend, I ca cannot recognize. Yes, stop there. Yes, you can't recognize. And now you require some nimitta. Yes, yes. Which is the photograph. And then, yes, and when he showed the photograph, I know, ha, huh, that's the person. So yes. I connected both. So I, I created this connection. Yes, even in that, that, that is what you are answering your own question, are you? If you have a nimitta, you will see your past lives. If you don't have the nimitta, there is no so what, way you can. What he is trying to say is, disconnection happen in between. No, there is no disconnection. There is no disconnection. You require yeah. something. So, there is no breaking of continuity. Yes. It is written on, written on the and Yes, yes. You yes, know? that's the point I understand. This point I understand. But I guess what I don't understand is that when I see a, a friend when he was in a past life, the, the, the nimitta, what is the nimitta that allow me to connect him as in this life to him? No, that, as in is that, a life? that is a difficult intellectual question to answer. You can okay. only go by inference that if you are able to watch your friend by through some nimitta, it's just like asking you that how does one go into Nirodha Samapa? Like what uh, Visaka asked uh, Dhammadina, and she says, You have to make up. He says, What to make up? And she says, In the Nirodha Samapati, you say, When you want to return back, you have to make that. And he says, Why I should make that? Now, there can't be any answer to that. Why means then don't do it. Mm -hmm. I think you previously mentioned when you see a friend in the past life, you recognize to the Hadayabhattu, right? You, you're exactly able to see that. that and Nimitta is required, are you, for any damn thing, you require a symbol, right? Symbol will make you to go back. If there is no symbolization, you can't go back. So, especially in this case, when we go back to the Chitta level, where it just lights up. Now, that lighting up, if you have read the Samanapala Sutta carefully, again you read, again you read, again you read, don't give up till you understand. There's one sentence he says, Why don't I? Please understand. Why don't I? Right? If there is no why don't I, then there is no way you can get your past life. Just like even if the friend is standing in front of you, and you don't want to see the photograph, and you can't recognize. Can you recognize? No, because there's no nimitta. How will you recognize? Now, coming back to my past life, it's not that I was sitting there and then casually 
um yeah he is right shreyas is right in the bodhi rajkumar also it is there okay so coming back to that whatever i was talking about the situation the nimitta what was the nimitta there that guy was asking me about brahmopadesha can you explain to me i could have explained in a different way but two things had happened by then one this guru whom i am talking about is one cause and second cause maybe the way he was explaining to me or explained me opened up my past life can happen or could have happened because at the, on that day when i was speaking to this person there was no guru of mine because i would know that he is talking to me but that day it was not he just asked me about vilas can you explain me brahmopadesha what is the need for brahmopadesha i could have just said brahmopadesha means this and this and all that but i don't know that triggered when i say triggered means it made the chitta bring back a complete file right and he was not interested in knowing all of that actually but i didn't care because i am seeing it now he is not seeing anything even when i told him that i was seeing my past life he just smiled he didn't know what i am talking about to be honest he got his answer but i got an experience so who is this i getting an experience i in this case is just the nama roopa experience but who gave that experience is the chitta what buddha says hold on sachin what buddha says is that you need to understand completely this vinyana in the putta mamsa sutta he exactly says that word one who understand vinyana there is no need to understand anything one who cannot understand vinyana for him he has to strive got the point so in that four things what he talks about he talks about ahara so he says if you understand this ahara you will be reborn in a better place and then he says phassa if you are understanding phassa you will be able to look at how you can release yourself then he says mano sanchetana one who understands mano sanchetana is almost getting liberated what is the fourth one vinyana ahar one who understands vinyana knows everything because that is what is bringing you going there coming back and doing all that there's nobody else now what are we fighting for what are we discussing right now how does it happen so there is a nama gutta which is call it as a hard drive for you which has stored all the files of all the lives you have led you means chitta has led it doesn't know how to open it up why because it is distracted so the first thing what buddha does is to stop the distraction of the chitta so he says either watch the breath watch your postures watch this do this do this remove the hindrances when you do that you are ready for samadhi right in the samana pala sutta we'll go slowly and understand the first is seal he gives all that why because the dirt is in not doing the seal properly that's all the chitta has dirt so you have to remove that dirt so first thing is make the chitta be moral it's not chitta is immoral or moral chitta is just light but there are so much of dirt specks on that you 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 can't see it meaning the nama roopa itself has got so much grossly mistaken that you think you are nama roopa the problem with vinyana and nama roopa is it the chitta thinks i am nama roopa and it continues so buddha's job is to split out this nama roopa completely chitta namancha roopancha asesam uparujyati vinyanasa nirodena ittesan uparujyati what it means when you completely remove asesa without residue if you remove the nama roopa that's a food or vinyana the last one 
you remove it it doesn't do anything it just lights up now there is no food it means it's gone now let's not go there let's understand step by step so first thing is morality yes sir i'm very moral i've understood so what are you what have you understood is that because of allowing the nama rupa to do whatever it wants to do this problem has started now you have pulled back the nama rupa saying that hey i am the owner you are the servant your ownership is with five senses i am going to control each one of these senses understand okay you listen to me yes sir because i am the chitta i am the person who is lighting everything up for you you can't take me for a ride so if that is happening what he says first thing indriya samvara why because this consciousness is going everywhere stop it stop it no it will not go unless you say it will not go who you say that chitta saying this will not go nama rupa has already have all impressions so you are ensuring through morality you are withdrawing it when the senses are guarded what's the next step never remove the hindrance don't sit into meditation no let me close my eyes and meditate sorry wrong number first you remove hindrance observe the hindrances i am not having any hindrance is it that itself is a hindrance because i am not even seeing there are hindrances what are the hindrances when i see the sight am i seeing a sight as a sight or i am seeing something else in the sight i'm seeing something else in the side that means the chitta is still colored but to remove that when i remove it then what then you are get ability of seeing things as they are and not as they are presented now i am able to remove each one of these nivaranas then the santosha is going to happen yes I think it's Indriya Samara, then Sampajanya, then Santosa. Ah, yeah, I I missed that. Okay, Sampajanya, yeah, means and 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 then Nivarn, uh, and then Santosa, and then Nivarn. Fine, no worries. But objective here is what? If you are doing Sampajanya in every posture, you are doing Indriya Samara. Simple as that. I missed it. It's just twenty twenty four by seven. It's just saying Indriya Samara twenty four by seven. Ah. If you do that, if I do that, are you? Which I missed it. Good that you informed. Now, if I do that, next step is easy. Which one? Hindrance removal. Because hindrance is coming from hindrance not being guarded, right? Now, guarding all the time means what? It should be in santosha. Now I am ready for the chhana. Now, when I get into the fourth jhana, I will see a bright light, brighter than any sun whatsoever, and really like this, broad daylight. It lights up every damn thing. Whether your eyes are closed, or open, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Even with your eyes open, if you put your mind on something, it will open up everything. and that's what it means it's not about i'm watching the breath and all of that no it's 24 bar 7 because when somebody comes you are able to see his past life also so you know when did you meet this person because you are connected chitta to chitta not the body to body there is no longer any body thing that oh this body means no i think like that now you are able to that person is not able to see for obvious reason but you are able to see which life you met him and why is he following you or why is he behind you 
then you will know why this person has become your wife or your son or your daughter or your friend or your enemy or whatever it is right so that means it's nothing to do with closed eyes sitting and i get that bright light yes yeah so that question i was wanted to ask was uh, just i just stuck to me that uh, when i am seeing a past life of me or someone can i say in that moment also vinyana pachya dhyat nama rupa pachya saraitana yes right yes pachya vedana that you leave the body aside basically you are you are capturing experiences you are not capturing anything else you are capturing experiences you are not capturing anything see this body 99% of the time we think i am going through the body but it's other way around body is following you you are not following the body my feeling here is i am following the body which is avijja okay actual fact is the body has got nothing to do with you if it was then the all the hair should have been intact at least minimum and i shouldn't have aged right that means i should still have been in the womb itself why am why is this body growing body is growing due to consciousness body is not growing due to me or anyone ahara samudayo rupa samudayo cause of the food the rupa here in this case this physical body is coming so what does he say kammam khetta vinyana bija and tanha sineho is a very deep connotation message in that it's not just a basic thing kamma khetta to be born you require kamma so kamma jakai must remember that that means nama gotta whatever you are talking is coming out of the kamma jakai because you have to have a connection you always have a connection why kamma is always there the khetta field now vinyana is what seed why because due to vinyana only it grows otherwise and there's a lot of sutras where it says virullati like virulla means to grow so who is growing nobody is growing there the vinyana is making it grow so it looks like a seed then a small thing will come then a small thing will come we can keep on naming whatever we want but that is what it is ultimately it grows matures give fruits and dies same way body slowly 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 as the food is given by the mother it starts coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and coming then the body cannot handle it so it is thrown out what we call as a womb birth in the hospital is nothing but kicking by the this body saying that i had enough of you now go out i can't feed you so it comes out so what are you seeing you are seeing kammam khetta then vinyana bija then tanhasineyo is the moisture as long as the craving exists craving for what sight sound taste touch smell as long as they exist vinyana is going to give it a life who is doing kamma then the six senses along with the rupa which is nama and rupa he is doing everything okay great vakanti asati nama rupa so we have understood that nama rupa pachaya salaitana six senses experience is salaitana Oh great sir i understood how will you 
get it to pass salaitana pachaya pass so when i say past life it is only this one nama roopa you are lighting it up then that nama roopa comes nothing to do with this body that nama roopa comes. now pachaya salaitana so you you will start experiencing in the six senses isn't it true like what uh, ariu is saying his friend he met he ran across a friend 30 year old and he couldn't recognize who couldn't recognize there is no nimitta so the chitta could not take back to that experience and so called friend of his showed the photograph what is that photograph the photograph is of a child of 5 year old but the chitta knows that it had seen a 5 year old irrespective of the body so what happened that nimitta brought in that nama roopa so you are become as if a child yes and that is that is the experience you are going to get even though even though you are trying to read some other person past life when you experience it you are as if that guy yes and that life person just like he was experiencing his friend see earlier he couldn't experience yeah. his so, friend so so con- so convince conventionally he will say that it is your past life yes. but when he feels it he feels it as, as if he is he, there yes yeah. he is he is experiencing yeah. there he comes out of that experience he and opens say, eyes and say it is your past life ah, because when i was seeing it i forgot all about this guy who had asked me this question and in fact sachin even if he had gone away i wouldn't have recognized that you know where i was seeing i was not seeing his eyes at all and that guy is in utter shock what is he seeing you are uh, you are in trance in that period yes for the whole at least i'm telling you it's a 7 minute experience yeah i never had a single moment where i remember that i am in this organization i am sitting in this place and i am explaining him this and you are vila and he is that guy uh-huh, that no, i am with the king and the king is telling me something and runs the wife and she is very happy and i am seeing my parents i have two children and i am in ujjain and i am debating and the teacher comes and he pats on my back beautiful beautiful go 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 you are you are done very well and that makes me feel very proud and all in 7 minutes i am just giving 7 i don't know how many minutes it was i felt it was like 7 minutes so don't tell me how did you come to know it was 7 minutes i have yeah, no time idea. is time is relative in that time is relative i have no idea but honestly speaking if that guy would have gone away also i would have been talking to myself ah uh, this uh, is so nice he should be doing like this and i was looking all the rituals which are performed how i was sitting in the ganges what dress i was wearing etc 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 it's not hallucination that's another thing i wanted to talk about it's nothing to do with hallucination hallucination means what you are weirdly imagining it here it is not it's coming with perfect ex- explanations okay for the other person it might look hallucination maybe like what buddha talks about it is my past life my past life is can no. say that he's gone no your answer is i know it is not hallucination right but on based on what based upon how you just like what are you met his friend 5 year old is it a hallucination for somebody else it might look like an hallucinating experience oh because you you know that it is a memory yes it is coming from memory his friend is also you see the difference between two friends is the friend can also remember but he might not remember everything and are you will prompt him hey come on that day you remember we were just riding okay 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 so so remembering is different and hallucination is different Absolutely. that's why you know yeah. yes yes otherwise hallucination is you don't even know anything you're just getting something but that's not true so in, in the case of a friend meeting are you that 
friend might say yeah i know you were sitting in the third bench but i am not able to get it hey you remember one day we we both bought a chocolate your mother bought it to me my mother buying it to you well then he will give some narish where is that narration coming from it's coming from his file this guy's file is different he's trying to match the information right he's trying to match when it matches he's given the right password now now his information starts to flow and he'll say we were playing this game and we were doing it i i you lost in blah blah all that right ah even i have won games with you the, all that happens but they wait so they both are children yes go ahead so you use, you use adivachana to create a nimitta to invoke the nimitta in the other person yes. when he catches the nimitta he can go back yes well. yes yes that's correct so he also requires nimitta only not that you require nimitta even he requires nimitta with this guy whom i was talking his question was only that what is brahmo padesha he is looking from his book reading or whatever perspective he was shell shocked number 1 he couldn't understand anything and i understood everything okay yes go ahead you are on mute in case ah so in case let's say you are reading my past Um, or let's say you are reading or you are watching. So when you are reading, you have no experience, right? He, he don't feel he is hypnotized. He is you know, right? seemingly like hypnotized. So when they do the past life regression, you require to hypnotize that person so that his mind stops. Okay, so he 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 is no he is also no more an individual guy now. No, he is completely surrendered to you. He is completely way. surrendered to whatever it is. So then you go back to his chitta. But the chitta is going to light up, so he start narrating that person that, or he starts narrating. There is one book on that, how the person gets into a disease, and that makes her to go to all her past lives. There is one book I can share. That's from an English author, and uh, she has this problem. So she keeps. Yeah, that, yeah. This makes sense because if you are reading my past life, I cannot act. My chitta cannot act individually, right? I have to be locked. Yes, yes. This file, this file has to be locked, so I cannot be individual. So exactly. that only you can read it. So that is in operating system we do, right? Exactly. <laughs> so what what Patanjali did, he uh, he answered this whole thing in one sutra, Yoga ha Chitta Vritti Nirodha. If you want to know all your past life, all that you need to do is stop the vritti. modification shaking all that and what the buddha did is to give you the entire step by step instruction in the samanapala sutta to tell you how to practice and what does he say he says you can reflect as many times as you want whenever you want Now uh, yeah, I am going to ask a question. When I am walking, can I reflect? Yes, you can. Do, do I require nimitta for the beginning? Yes. After that, first life, first first past life, then a nimitta. Go back. Second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth, hundred, like that. Yes, go ahead. Are you? And once you get a nimitta to connect to that life, when you see that scene, you get a lot of nimitta from that scene alone. So it, it connects from there. Yes, it keeps so on raining. Ten stars. Yes. See, so, you initially you require a symbol because the the sanya, the meaning of sanya means what? Symbolization, sign. So when I when I when I say I am having a sign, means what? I am symbolizing something to come back, just like you go to a forest or to the woods. you have have a trail but some places there are no trail so what will you do you take a chalk or you take some stone or something and you make some symbol for you to come back otherwise how will you come back and that's exactly what namadinna tells visaka you need to have a symbol otherwise you can't return yes so the symbol the nimitta And the perception, the sanya, is even subtler 
then sixth sense is right because without them or your or your no 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 it's not like that okay. using see six senses are different ayatanas are different field mm. what you're talking mm. is a field six senses indriyas are different when the problem starts when indriya becomes an ayatana so ayatana ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ No, it is not. See, the thing is like this. We are making past life regression as something an achievement. No. Like you reflect yesterday. You require one nimitta. Yeah, past day regression that is. <laughs> past day regression. Some nimitta. And that's all what is required. It flows. Just comes. But I say that is yesterday. i want to know what i was 10 year 10 lives ago that is tanha you remember whenever there is a craving it blocks you have to let go of craving if you hold on to it or i hold on to it and i feel excited I'll sit in meditation yeah okay so only those who are not interested in seeing past life will see it no you shouldn't have both extremes one you shouldn't be excited enough to see it also not dejected not to see it it's like wait for a second i want to see snow leopard generally snow leopard is there in higher in the himalayas especially ladakh and this karakoram belt and all that i want to see snow leopard in bangalore okay i want to see like one point in a time no leopards were there in bangalore is what i feel some eons ago so to keep my camera so still and have should have so much of patience to wait for the snow leopard to come without making any sound and whichever eon it is it will come it means if i were to say hey snow leopard please come god I don't want snow leopard. Nothing is going to happen because I am already agitated, or rather, I am distracted. Right? So to get disturbed. Ah, huh, so yes, yes, Jordan. Yeah, it sounds like uh, in in my experiences with like lucid dreaming or astral projection, it's like uh, if gripping a gripping a bar of soap too too hard. it'll slip out of your hands but you still have to be able to hold that in that space right absolutely lucid dreaming works the exactly the same way you need to have a nimitta what you want to experience before sleeping practice it i want to see i want to go here let's say i want to go on the pyramids okay for a change i want to fly on the pyramids now i don't have to um see a video and sleep no that's not lucid dreaming okay so now i make a nimitta and i sleep whenever it sounds perfect the chitta opens up that nama roopa which has an experience of pyramid. now you are on astral journey into the pyramid you take it up hey i am in pyramid gone why you enjoyed it too soon yeah for sure i've had plenty of experiences lucid dreaming where i realize i'm lucid dreaming and the excitement wakes me up from sleep yes that's it over so there are various ways of doing so this uh, yoga nidra is another thing in yoga where you can do the lucid dreaming the beautiful one it takes around 45 minutes to 1 hour then you get into a self imposed uh what we can say uh you can get into trance or 
basically hypnotize yourself. The chitta now is light and bright and it takes away from the body. And you start walking out. And wherever you want, you want to go to America, you are just there. The second you are in America. And it's real time. I, I am here. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Go ahead. I was joking, joking. Yeah, got it. So, so the basic thing is that if I want to be in states, I can be in the states the very moment and then it's real time. Meaning all that I'm seeing is real time. If I were to go and explain someone and he would say, yes, uh, that road was getting built up and you were there. Oh, this had happened. and That had happened. It's not that happened in the past. It's as it happens. So that is exact lucid dreaming. So lucid means real, but it's a dream, it's not anything else, but it is actually lucid. So you basically okay, get that. So there are various ways of doing. If you understand you yoga. Lucid, lucid means uh, you are aware that you are dreaming. Yes, you are aware you are dreaming. You are, for, as far as you are concerned, you are really experiencing yeah. it. And Buddha or Arhat is aware of the reality also in the same way. Yes, absolutely. So now what, I'm, what I can do when I can say I am having a past life, what it basically means is that I am lucidly experiencing the past life. If I were to use that word. Right? That means I have a nimitta symbol. It takes back a complete. Yes. Yeah, Jordan, go ahead. Sorry. In, in, in fact, when Aryu says that he is seeing the scenery and all, it's actually daytime is lucid dream because yes. he is aware, aware. Whenever yeah. you are aware, there are two kinds of dreams. One dream where it's just that is coming out of the mind's sluggishness, so to say. There's no intention. When there's an intention, that's a nimitta. And that is what is there in the Chula Vedana Sutta and Mahavedana Sutta also. You need to have a symbol. Symbolize it. You get it. Because the Chitta knows everything. It brings that Nama Rupa and there. Yeah. People are saying lucid living for those who, who feels that this reality is a dream. Yes, that another thing, another word is deja vu. Okay. I will give you this experience of mine. While walking in uh, Chicago, uh, in the O'Hare International Airport, uh, first, second time when I landed in O'Hare, and flying from Ohar to Indianapolis, that I was knowing I'm here. This place is not the airport. This place is 100% known to be. It was as though somebody is pushing me and showing me all these places. I was thinking it's a hallucination. Maybe because of this flight changeover and all that and no sleep. Yeah, it happens. So I've gone mad. And uh, to my unfortunate thing, what was 11, I think the flight was at 11 a.m. Chicago time. It went into 11 p.m. Chicago time. Well, I was delayed because of a storm in Indianapolis. So, couldn't fly. So, I was feeling I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. After landing in Indianapolis, same thing continued. The road, the trail and all that. Seattle, same thing. So it looked as though I know each one of these places. And to try it out, I was telling one of my ex-colleague that in this place, it's like this. He said, yes, few, but it was a long time ago. Said, yeah, okay. Strange. But it's so real. It's so real. He said, that what, I don't know what you're talking, but yeah, I have heard about it. I said, wow. I didn't tell him anything because even I didn't know so much to tell him. Okay. So, so the fun part here is 
each one of us would have experienced. Chitta has experience. So it just, through some symbolization, it will be able to pick up. And even now we are picking up through the symbol. You are not picking up anything without a symbol. Yes. Yes. So uh, since Ashutosh taught me that day when I was watching kind of how the mind takes me everywhere, I start noticing how the mind is taking randomly, it jump across time and space so quickly. Like I saw a car on the street, immediately it takes me to like a mom who had the same car at the, the other school. So I can see my mind just takes me there. And yeah, it's, it's the, pretty, the crazy things. it's pretty, uh, what I can say, overwhelming. If you really see, it jumps from here, there, here, there, there, this place, that place. And that's what you call as an experience. Because it's, it's non-sequential. So what Buddha teaches is to have a sequential arrangement so that you watch everything. Otherwise, it's random. So as something comes, you experience. Then that, some, that goes away and something comes and that you experience. And something comes, that is, but you are thinking that it's the same thing. No. There are discrete things which are happening. They don't have any relevance. But the chitta is capturing everything. So whenever the nimitta comes, it is able to give you that experience. Yes, Jordan. To me, like one thing I've noticed as well, and I, this may be the the chitta capturing experience. I may not be understanding it correctly, but like, uh, you know, if I think or put the intention of like yellow car or yellow pickup truck then throughout the day i begin to see and notice much more frequently like yes. yellow pickup trucks yes um and that can happen with anything um whereas like if i set the intention on that imagery specifically then um, it tends to arise much more frequently than uh that which i would notice normally whether that's yeah that is called RAS in uh, new, 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 uh, neuroscience because the brain has a filtering mechanism. All the inputs are filtered. So filter needs some, uh, uh, some intention. So when you set intention to set yellow car, car, he will filter the car and choose yellow only. I think everyone has similar experiences, especially when you buy a new car and you start seeing the car <laughs> everywhere, right? Like yeah. it, it creates a symbol. <laughs> now every car you see, it jumps back to that symbol. Another thing you can see, especially when you have road rash, right? If you just concentrate on one road rash incident, the whole day you will have road rash. You will only be seeing that. Somebody coming, somebody banging, somebody something happening, some argument, some everywhere you will be seeing that. Somebody is, is jumping the signals, jumping the lane, jumping this, jumping that, and then fight and all that. Right? And you will be seeing it the whole day, the whole day, including the way you are in the office, home, that day, everything is conflict driven. All of the other things will be there. So you, you, you land up in conflict. Yeah, until you reach that by sleeping. Yes, because what's happening here is that this is when they coined that word law of attraction. Actually, you decide what you want and the chitta job is to get that experience and it doesn't care what whether you like it or you dislike it or you throw it or you don't want to throw it because mm -hmm. the Nava Rupa doesn't have any mechanism yeah. to throw out. And uh, for chitta, dream and reality is more different. Absolutely. It, it doesn't have anything. It's just pure and bright. Pabhasaram idam chitta. You name it, you want it, you get it. Oh, you want a fight? Okay, come, 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 come. I'll give it to you. As many as you want. Enjoy. So it is what, what Sankappa. That's the reason you see Buddha is very smart. Nekkamma Sankappa. Abhyapada Sankappa. Abhihimsa Sankappa. Why? If you perceive the other three, it's samsara. If you perceive these three, it's Nibbana. Chitta doesn't have any distinction between Sansara and Nibbana. It doesn't have. It doesn't know what you're talking also. You're making sense of some English or whatever that language is. 
The chitta doesn't have anything like, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. You're talking in English? Sorry, Buddha language is Pali. How dare you talk in English? No, it doesn't care whether you talk this way or that way, that other way. It doesn't come and say, look, listen, it should be in Pali. Why? Buddha spoke in Pali. Buddha is a Pali person. But I don't know Pali. Hang yourself. You have to learn Pali. Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. I guess uh, it's a similar mechanism when you have a certain emotion, all the thoughts of related type are coming, right? Let, let's say you're, you're feeling some frustration in your heart and all the thoughts you're getting are angry thoughts because I guess you're holding on to the anger as a sign. Yes, as a sign. exactly. So the, exactly. In, Abhidham, in Abhidhamma, they call it Bhavanga Chitta, temporary Bhavanga Chitta. Yes. So the basic thing what I need to learn is Chitta is pure and bright, clear? Whatever I call myself is a Nama Rupa. And as long as there is Nama Rupa, Vinyana is going to be there. That means the Chitta is going to be saying, I am there with you, my dear son. Don't worry, I am there with you. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to cling to cling area. Okay, good. I, I, I read it as cling to area. So I was wondering when did... Jordan started clinging. I, I did not understand. What is cling? Are you? No, he doesn't have any cling. No, I'm referring to which. No, you don't have to cling to that uh, that type of emotional formation, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, Sachin. Yeah. So if so, if you are done in this topic, you can just add it because the, yes, go ahead. the time part of it. In my question. Ah so yes, the next part is the time. 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 How can you stay that 800 back? I was this. No, the, b based upon, now how, this, how does this happen? You have to base it on not the experience. You have to base it on some events which have happened <laughs> or some symbol. It might not be real. Yes. It might not be real. So when I say 726, it need not be. It can be any any damn thing, right? I don't so even when, know. When you come back from that experience, now you calculate. Ah, now, oh, you probability, can, probability. So now, now you have to put a time and space stamp. But actually, yeah. when it happened, there is no time and space. So in that experience, you might just know the name of the king. Yes. And when you come back, you 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 can you are calculating or guessing that king in yeah, the back, so. I could see how Ujjain was and how the place was. And since I have studied about the Madhya Pradesh and the Madhya Desha, at that time they used to call it a Madhya Desha. So since I have read a lot about that and how Jain was at that point in time, my assessment was some, something like that. But it need not be. Yeah, so experience don't tell about that time. No, yeah. it, it just takes you there. And then when, when Buddha recall his past experiences, he always say, at this location, this town was called this name, my name was this, and his name yes. was that. But if you had a history book with reference, you're able to say, oh, this town is no, called No, that this will name. happen. Even, even, even at that time, I could remember my name. I could remember my clan. I was able to see my parents. I was able to see my school, my first school, my first preschool, if I could talk about. Yeah. I'm just saying if there's, a, if there's a history book for you to refer on. Ah, that like, I don't have, right? So I can't, I can't really relate. Yes. You said this is my past experience. This is past, past experience, like one, two, three, four. That five. I don't have, right? See, I have, see, okay. how it should work, uh, Sachin, is that I should be able to refer to my the previous life. Then the previous life. This is a random thing which has happened. So, in case you get more previous life, then we can answer. <laughs> ah, then I can say how this sequence is going to happen, right? At present, it's a random. See, there are only two random lives I've seen. This was a full one, but a partial one, a real partial one. When I was on a flight between Delhi and Leh, okay, and I was, I was, my thing is always watch the breath and be in mindfulness and all that. So, in 2017, I think so. I was on the flight. Instead of seeing as many times I've seen Himalayas, so that didn't really uh, make me see down and see the these peaks and feel that wow, the plane is going so close. It, it hits, it's going to break open and something like that. Instead of that, I just was seeing like this. 
Then I didn't close my eyes. I'm just watching. I'm not watching anything in particular, just watching. And then I am seeing this partner. That means my Ladakh partner, friend, or whatever I want to call. I and he going inside a monastery, not in this body, not in his current body. And we were in, in Tibet, around 80 miles from Lhasa. So I was able to see what I am doing, my teacher, the Vajrayana school, which I was in, all of that, the rituals we are doing and uh, how we enter into cave, meditation, blah, 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 all of that. And one funny thing happens. The river is flowing. That means uh, from the Manasarovar area, the river is flowing. So we are on the other side. Okay. And uh, I think Shigatse or Shega. Now I'm not really that clear on that place. But there, this friend of mine, who is now the partner along with me, he says Vilas, not Vilas as Vilas at that time, that name, whatever Lama we both were. He is a Lama and I have recently been a Lama. So we both, he says, you will stay here. I will go and come back and he never returns. So I wait and wait and wait and out of starvation, I feel like <laughs> something is holding me like this and I come out of that and I see I'm in the flight. That was the only experience I had. Maybe I died out of starvation or I don't know what it is. So that, that's one vivid experience. Okay. Now I get down the flight. Now I go to the office. He also has a similar kind of thing happening in him. Okay. And he says, Vilas, I came to know why we both met in this life. I also say to him, I know for what reason we both are meeting. And no, no talking. He's a Lama, I am also a Lama, right? In this life, you see, he wanted to be a Lama. His parents said, no, you are the first son. We can't give you to the monastery. And internally, he is like a Lama. Externally, he does everything. So, in that very year, okay, very year, we went to one monastery with uh, a group. Now, that monastery never allows an inner sanctorium to be seen. And nobody allows in, in any one of these, any one of these Tibetan monasteries, unless you are a Tibetan or Tibetan or Ladakhi or whatever, the same Vajrayana sect. And my friend says to that Lama that uh, he, is, uh, he knows a lot about Buddha Dhamma, especially the, 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 the way of the Tibetan. And he, he looks at my eyes like this. And he says he is a Lama. And my friend is shell-shocked. How, how, how does he read it? He asks him, how do you know? Oh, I know it. I'm telling you, he's a Lama. Now, it doesn't end there. So, I'm with the group. So I want to sit with the group. He says, no, you're not supposed to sit there. You sit here. It's your place. That's so nice. They make me sit there. And with, with Dalai Lama coming into lay, many things have happened like this. Meaning, it is such an association and the amount of respect I get in the, into the Tibetan regions, I have never got anywhere anything like that. Meaning, when I was in Bhutan, okay, and Bhutan is again a complete, complete Tibetan kind of culture. So, I meet a set of uh, Bhutanese monks. I and they have got no relation. But we become so close. That they say, sir, if you don't mind, can I show you internal of this monastery? I say, yes, 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 I want to see. 
because I don't know why I have such a craving for monastery. And wherever I go, the first thing it hits me is a monastery. And I just standing there, I can explain to people about the wheel of life. This is uh, this symbol, what they have put is this, that symbol is this. Okay. I can do that endlessly. Whether somebody is listening to it or not listening to it, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. And I go into that trance. And no, I, sometime I've seen nobody is there also. So whomever I am showing is himself is not there. But are there tears in my eyes when I see that? I feel, oh shit, oh, this is how it is, this is how it is, and all that. And I'm totally emotional, I'm sitting and uh, watching. And when, when I move out of the monastery, I feel somebody is pulling me out of the monastery. I want to be in monastery. But somebody is asking me, no, 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 you have to come back. So I have had all of these weird experiences. But these two experiences showed me that I am something to do with Himalayas. And that's the reason I don't have an altitude sickness till date. As many times I've gone, just not even once I've felt breathless or any height. Even if I'm at 18,000 feet, nothing happens. 19,000 feet. After COVID, we went as high as 19,000 feet. I'm like a usual Ladakhi slash Tibetan. Nothing happens. No, no altitude. I can run, I can do whatever I want, or just uh, nothing happens. And I wear shorts, and none of those people wear their shorts there. So they keep on asking me, don't you feel cold? I say, no, absolutely not. Until 5 degrees temperature, 5 degrees centigrade, I don't feel any cold. In fact, this place seems very hot to me. And that place seems very homely to me. Yes, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing just like uh, what you have intention to become, you take a rebirth of yes. that kind of experience. Exactly. You also, because in your, in your let's say, Vinyana or Namarupa, there's a tendency to experience that kind of experience. So your body also grows to be adaptive to that. Exactly. You are absolutely right. That is how it works. That is how Vinyana makes this Namarupa possible. So when... Buddha Vipassi saw this, he wanted to break this Nama Rupa and Vinyana because that is where this Vattam Vattati, like a going in circle or the whirlpool of existence. So when I say I, when I say I'm seeing my past life, when I say I'm doing this, it doesn't have any connotation there except that the Vinyana takes directly to that experience. It doesn't have time and space. There's nothing called time and space. Yes. I have a very uh, simple um, this clashing of understanding. So much we know about Nama Rupa, right? Uh, that uh, Nama Rupa Pachas, right? And, and all those suttas perfectly match to it. But when, when this line comes, uh, formal name and nominal form, it doesn't match with the rest of the understanding. This whole complex understanding of Nama Rupa. For that. And, and for when, when you say name is just a formal. Uh, for uh, that, mommy, uh, for that, you need to experience Mahanidana Sutta, DN15. Yeah, from there only I am saying no, that line is, is he, printed on me, but always with that. No, no, he explains there. No, Yehi Namehi, eh, sorry, Yehi Akare, Akare Yehi Nimittehi, Yehi, yehi, nimitte yehi Uddeshehi. No. So you have to now understand what it is. Okay, deeply contemplate, you will get it. Akar, shape, correct. Linga, is gender, masculine, feminine, neutral. Okay. Nimitta, symbol. There's no person out there. It's just a symbol out there. Please try to understand that. Uddesha, purpose. If you have these four on the Adivachana Sampasa, and then only you can look at the Patigga Sampasa. Or if you don't have these four in the Patigga Sampasa, you can't describe anything in the Adivachana Sampasa. And this describing is 
normal sorry formal naming you describe something naming doesn't mean the name of a person no naming means anything you are naming it this i am naming it as iphone it's a naming but is that an iphone aakara linga nimitta uddesha this damn thing is what wait yeah wait. Hold, hold on hold on let us solve this problem now this is the aakara shape right linga attributes it doesn't have life clear so it doesn't have any other linga except for calling it as a na pumsa linga meaning mm. no life or neuter or no gender right nimitta uddesha for what are you using it Okay. Now explain what it is. You can. You can put an adivachana sampasa to this. This is an Apple MacBook Air, blah blah blah, and all of that. What if this is removed from you? Wait, 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 wait. Remove from me. Remove from your memory. Memory. Okay. my question is everything is nama rupa and this nama rupa which is birthing which is continuing is totally different thing why they are mixing it no nobody is mixing it so that's the reason if you understand mahanidana sutta correctly on nama rupa and vinyana and vinyana with nama rupa he talks about how the being is coming whether ananda if that is not there can you say this is growing or not growing he asked those questions you can't superficially read it because vinya nama rupa pachaya vinyana and vinyana pachaya nama rupa are two different thing nama rupa with that is vinyana with the nama rupa is a rebirth consciousness also you seen in that sutta particular sutta and when he says vinyana with nama rupa he says all of this describing including everything taken together i call as vinyana with nama rupa and these two things taken together when you see on one side you will give a form which never existed this instead of being called as a solid object made out of aluminium will immediately become something in your mind okay something whatever that thing is so it becomes a thing when it becomes a thing it is already paticca sama utpanna so it goes into anicca ankata what is samutpanna khaydama vaydama viragadama nirodhadama we'll come to that later but let's first understand this much so when he say when you really see a formal name formal name so that everybody can talk about it as apple macbook air and a nominal form nominal means in just a form exist for the heck of it yeah this is conventional talking na no? in fact naam and rupa are very concrete thing oh, no they when they say when they say mentality materiality no no, no brain, that's what I, body uh, sachin i understand i understand your confusion or i understand that what you are saying is also right materiality mentality there's nothing called as an absolute sense of materiality there is no absolute sense of mentality what is mentality mentality is five asa vedana mm-hmm. sanya ketana manasika it's good to recite like this but have you experienced what is phas for yourself have you experienced the vedana for yourself or sanya ketana manasika when you experience these five for yourself you will let go of that conventional meaning what has been provided as mentality Mm-hmm. number 1 now come to the materiality 
वॉट इज मेटीरियालिटी इज पठवी आपो तेजो पायो पर्ण रस गंध ओझ ओके सो सी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर पास्ट लाइफ प्रिपरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू एंटर इन टू वेन यू एंटर इन टू यू से आई एंटर इन टू नाम रूपा के वाई पास्ट लाइफ लेट्स टेक वन हवर इन Is it? It is all the same. Whether you call it as past or whatever it is, it is that is. Yeah. Atita. So that memory, it is in memory. Nam rupa is in memory. Let's say. Atita. Hmm. Take that atita. What happens in atita right now? One hour ago, we started at whatever time. Do you believe? Do you exist? You exist one hour ago. Yes, right. You you believe? Correct. Yes. Okay. Who existed? I. A who? In the sense of Nama and Rupa, tell me. Nama, Rupa, Rupa. What? Let's understand it in a proper way. For the eight octets, Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo, Varna, Rasa, Gandha, Oja. This has Patavi. Agree? Apo, Tejo. Bio, color is there? Yes. Burn. Rasa is there? Yes. Has rasa. Gandha smell is there? Yes. Ocha. Nutrient is there? Yes. It is nutritious. If a mosquito comes, this body is the most nutritious thing it can ever get. At one place, everything is secreted and kept. Okay. Now, you require adhi vachana. Without Ajib Adi Vachana, you can't explain anything. For that, you require Phasa. Agree with me, Sachin? Phasa with what? With this. Then only you can explain. Do you feel this body? Yes, I am feeling. I am seeing that there is some obstacle in front of me called as a body. So I have to define what it is. Phasa. Vedana, over. Sanya, perception. Are you able to perceive what it is? Yes, it's a human being. Who says so? so that's what I've been told. That's a sanya. I know this sanya. Ketana, intention. Do you have an intention to see that object? Yes, I have an intention to see that object. Now you bring in manasikar. You bring in your mind. Now, when you bring in this, which one? This eight, you make up what? You make up villas. Okay. So, can I conclude like this? When I see the laptop, I have intention to see the laptop and all those five faculties there. When I am trying to see one hour back myself, still the same ingredient, and that's why at both of all the Seeing at the looking at the laptop is the experience defining these five five things uh, the nam and rupa. If I just close my eye and try to remember my, my past life or, or sorry my childhood memory or one hour back memory, it comes now. Both the experience are in now, and hence these five things or this first uh, uh, vedna all this thing is ingredient of that. And on other side, rupa is also ingredient of that. So that's why it is both exactly. And on, on that, these two things, the vinyana is lighting it up. In this moment. In this moment. And hence, you can say, one hour back I existed. Yeah. And it's that experience that experience. is this, this moment. This moment. So, you are experiencing in the present moment of something which is in the past. Yeah. You, it may be past life, it may be anything. 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 But it is now. It is now. Moment. Right now. And this needs this faculty is called Vedana Sanya. Yes, everything. you require and Rupa. Yes, you, so he he gives four situations there. If you have seen the Mahanidana Sutta, he talks about four situations for the Nama and Rupa. Have you gone through that? He says that if this doesn't happen in the Adivachana, only <laughs> happens in the Patigga, will there be any experience? Yes, Mata Pita and all that. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, consciousness entering in body. No, no, no. no. Four things about Nama and Rupa. 
if you open dn15 okay you go through it there's a section where it talks about four things four situations for this namain rupa so he says the first situation is if there is nothing to describe at all can there be any experience in the patig answer is yeah 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 this thing is the nimitta rupa no no he is asking the question to ananda assuming there is nothing in the patig and only there in the in the in the rupakaya it is there and there nothing in the namakaya will there be any experience ananda naham bante no if there is nothing to be experienced in the rupakaya but only in the in the in the namakaya can there be any experience he says no can anything in the rupakaya anything in the namakaya where not to be there can any experience can be found in that no and yehi ananda i am trying to say to you from that time without phas between the ramakaya and the rupakaya you can't say anything as an experience at all that means if you want to formally designate something you require the namakaya and rupakaya to be together that means you have to formally name it shouldn't change see this apple macbook air is not going to change yes okay so now that is how we need to understand see i am telling you even if you have read that mahanidana sutta even 100 times unless you give a complete observation on yehi aakarehi yehi lingehi yehi nimittehi yehi uddeshehi don't understand that in depth you will miss the bus you will never know the connection between a nominal form in fact i have literally read it 100 times and i have Um, ten times I would have asked you this question around yes. that top, that paragraph. I have asked you many times. Yes, you have still asked. Still, I am still I am hungry on that line. No, that's fine. So there are two things. Forget about nominal form and formal name for time being. What is adhi vachan? Adhi and vachan. Vachan means speech. Adhi means extension. So when you speak, you have to speak with some extension. otherwise nobody will understand so you have to use a use a language and you have to use a grammar and you have to use an expression three things have to be there you have to have a language first thing not that you can't have then you should have a grammar then you should have an expression what is expression how you want to say it the body language voice tone etc etc is the expression if i say my name is vilas immediately you feel vilas why are you depressed today i am not depressed but your face looks depressed no but your voice is depressing no that is how i speak vilas until yesterday you were not speaking like that but today morning onwards i am speaking like this maybe you are sick no Now you are shocked. Why? Because akara, inga, nimitta, desha is not matching with rupa. Formally, your name is Mihim as Vilas, but nominally, that Vilas is not there, as you had seen him. So, what are you going to ask him, Vilas? Are you sick? i am not sick but from this morning i am like this one maybe you should show to doctor no i don't feel like going to the doctor why i don't know but vilas you were filled with excitement especially dhamma no from today 
I'm going to be talking like this. Now, will you accept? No. What is wrong? Formal name is okay, but the nominal form is not matching for you. Yes, are you? Yeah, the the shape and the gender and all that is the same, but the purpose is different. Used to be a Dhamma teacher, but now it's like a patient. <laughs> yeah, you look like a patient. So something is wrong. So Buddha asked, "Yehi akarehi, yehi lingehi, yehi nimittehi, yehi udeshehi, in the rupakaya." It should match with Namakaya. And then only it, you will say something is there. So I sit like this. You ask a question. Such a very good question. Answer. Like the politician do, right? Yeah. Your question makes good sense. I want to say, boss, I don't know what is wrong with you. Please go to the doctor. Uh, there is something odd. In fact, Shreyas stays near my home. In the next 10 minutes, he is there at my home. Trying to find out whether I am really all right or not. Why? Because the formal name is fine, nominal name is not. Got it? With this example. Because the passa, when it is contacted, you are not getting that. The vilas you are not experiencing. Yeah, the the message I took is this that it may be past life, it may be person, it may be object, but you are experiencing in this moment, and that's why right. this that is, is correct. That is correct, and, why, and it needs these things. Yes, these five things. Absolutely right. What he has put there is in this moment only. This is experience, right? The speech I'm giving. Uh, so my confusion was even we take this is the phone, phone is the name, this is the no 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 no, no. and that this is Namarupa, this Namarupa takes uh, previous life. So we are talking about life or death? <laughs> no no no, both are same, right? See in the consciousness, in the vinyana, isn't it the apple coming into existence as much as Vilas is coming into existence? Uh, yeah, in this vinyana. In this vinyana, isn't it coming into existence or not? Yes. If somebody steals this away from me, am I not concerned? If someone steals yeah. me, I don't know. I, yeah. I call him as abduction, right? Yeah. So when they, when they say it is not mine, it is not me, 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 all that, it is actually this experience is not mine, saying rather than ah. this God is not mine. Ah, we, that is correct. Even if, it is, even if we see somebody else object, but experience-wise, it is your experience. Ha, so and then you have to say it is not mine. Ha, what Buddha is hitting it is that the Pathavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo, Akasa is not mine means the experience what you are having as a Pathavi is not yours. It's a deeper connotation rather than just saying, ah, I am not earth, I am not water, I am not air. That's not going to do anything. Because it's still there in the Namakaya. So there are two Kaya, Namakaya, Rupakaya. So when in the Satipatthana, when he says, Sabbakaya Pati Samvedi, Asasi Samiti Sikhati, Sabbakaya Pati Samvedi, Pasasi Samiti Sikhati, he is referring to this. But when we do it in the Satipatthana, we might not even understand what is he saying, Sabbakaya. Every person will put whatever he thinks is Sabbakaya, but no. Only in the Anapana Sati Katha, the, what's that, Sariputta, perfectly explains what is Sabbakaya, Rupakaya, Namakaya. And, 
in and using that we have to go to mahanidana sutta and see yahi aakarehi yahi lingehi yahi nimittehi yahi uddeshehi and contemplate contemplation is anupassana so you have to contemplate how does it come to be what is the origin kim nidana what is the origin kim samudaya what is the starting point like that yes both of you have raised hands so they are yeah yeah let me this i feel like this these four things right this shape gender science and purpose are like increasing in let's say more and more gross right so i think as you penetrate into dhamma you start unraveling this dhamma rupa and the first time first thing you give up is purpose right because everything is for me right once you start giving up the purpose for mine for me then you start getting to let's say sakadagami and all that so you you give up more and more in that sequence yeah good one yeah so my question is uh, since we are running out of time the pending question is still there yeah, today i am not running out of anything i can uh, do till uh, 1 am 1 pm so PM. your by original question question that uh, your out of body experience 1995 compare it with bathroom experience what is the difference what do you mean by out of body out of body means like this the namakaya has come out the gandabha basically better word to use than namakaya gandabha came out gandabha came out and gandabha comes out with what with vinyana only right it mm. can't come out on its own it doesn't have its own ability so when we say namakaya rupakaya it is the same thing with vinyana without vinyana there is nothing called nama and namakaya and rupakaya so in your bathroom experience you did your gandabha din came out so you were listening you were seeing uh, hearing all that were you hearing through this eye this ear or through typically out of body way of out of body way of experience not this okay. eye this ear this so both are same it just that you are in or out is the difference yes yes that's correct so that experience meaning that death experience near death experience means what the gandabha is out and this experience is also the same since the ayu usma vinyana exist so it doesn't eject out completely then it is dead right there is no way to enter back so you need to understand that so if you we are to shouldn't forget forever when we say you i i or whatever it is it has three ingredients to it ayu usma vinyana if you miss that you will start to feel Okay, what is this and what is that? As long as the ayu exists, so long the vinyana is going to be. Which vinyana? Not the six vinyana. Not the six vinyana. Whatever we are talking of, that vinyana. Okay, and that three combination, that is ayu, usma, vinyana, is jivita indriya. To be very precise, one word to define. Like purisa indriya, itti indriya, like that. Jivita indriya is also there. Okay, nobody is a woman. It's a itti indriya. Nobody is a man. Absolute sense. It is purisa indriya. So when we say jivita indriya, it's ayu usma vinyana. Even though the six sense doors are closed. even though there is nothing to experience in the chula chula shunyata sutta buddha says the stress now is what the jivita indriya and the salaitan what now what did buddha do in the parinibbana sutta he gave up his jivita indriya to the tree saying that three months from now i will end what will end the vinyana which has usma ayu he gave up the ayu even though he was able to extend his ayu since ananda did not respond to him every time he asked him shall i stay shall i stay shall i stay only in the end after he did it 
Ananda said, oh, sorry, sir, uh, please stay back. He says, no, it is not in the Buddha tradition that once it is vomited, somebody takes it back. Yes. It's like he already taken the battery out. After the battery is taken out, the body can still run for whatever momentum has left. Exactly. But, that, yeah. but he can't take it back. Okay. So, how do we test it? How do we testify it? Take a chicken. They cut the chicken. For some time, headless chicken is going everywhere. It's running around. That is the vinyan. What the point? There is no ayu left. The usma is coming down. But the vinyana is there, so it is running around. The headless chicken is going everywhere. And head over there is also doing something like this. Got it. Take a lizard. This is somebody killing it. Take a lizard. Lizard will lose its tail. If you have keenly watched, it throws out the tail and the tail will be shaking like this. That's called vinyana. That is the chitta. It has got nothing to do, it just lights up. Now that slowly it will wane out like this and stop. In that the warmth is there, slowly the warmth will go out because the Ayu has ended out of it. So, the sixth sense door closing is Nibbana. And this Vinyana completely getting extinguished is Parinibbana. Because there is no longer any Ayu left, there is no longer any Usma left and Why? Because there is no longer any fuel. The fuel is in the six senses. So when the fuel is exhausted of the six senses, there is no further life, no rebirth. So the Buddha way of doing is, first understand the six senses are the Dukkha. Work out on the Dukkha. Craving is the Dukkha. So you come out of that craving and then you are liberated, meaning the six sense door don't go behind grazing. So the no field of experience is there. So the Ayu Usma Vinyana, once it departs, there is no need for it to come back because there is no need for a battery now. Ayu. And if you have seen any battery, when you keep it, it will be hot. This one, if I this one, if I touch it, it's hot right now. Why? Are you Osma Vinyana? Electricity is the Vinyana. The battery what they have given, Apple has given, is the are you. And when you keep on charging it, the Usma. There's a prana in this now. It will come till when? Till the battery last. So as soon as we eat. Ayu is going away, Usma is going away, the Vinyana also goes away and then you feel hungry again, just like this battery charging, you have to put it on charge, you have to put this battery, this body also on charge, so what do you do? Prepare something, eat. Same thing, no difference. That is Dhamma. See, now you can see both are same. Of charging it, what happens if charge runs out? Is it dead? No, why? Are you there? If you charge, it's going to come back in the same way, unconscious, like I was talking about. Is that this is there? The charge is not there. The sugar level has come down in the body, and hence the person is unconscious. What is required? Just give him some sugar or Sprinkle some water. Who comes back? The body consciousness comes back. That's the reason I was telling you the other day, we don't even look at Kayancha Paticha Kothabbecha Uppajati Kaya Vinyanam. They sprinkle water on the face, suddenly he comes up. And the mind comes up. Why? The charge has come. The charge has come. So when you on the on your phone, doesn't it start from the beginning? It will show all your past calls and everything. So then person comes and says, 
what happened you were unconscious unconscious how you fell down fell down how did i fall down why because vinyanam anidasanam anantam sabbato pavam it has got nothing to do with you because ayu and usma is there the person gets up that person whom ever we call person but what actually got up is kayanch patichcha pottabbe cha upajati kaya vinyanam don't forget that tinna sangati phasso asa pachaya vedana so there is a feeling now entering into the body i think now i think i am the body no you have nothing to do with body i think i am the mind no you have got nothing to do with the mind either i think i myself no that is also not true because myself is nama roopa mind is anancha paticcha dhamme cha upajati mano vinya not quite right but i am the body kayanch paticcha पठ्ठब्बे च उपजति काय विज्ञान सो नन ऑफ दैट इज यू सो द क्वेश्चन टू बी सॉल्व एस अभासारम इदम चित्तम और विज्ञानम अनिदसनम अनंतम तपतो पभम it comes into life yatta patavi cha apo cha tejo cha vayo na ghadati here it is na ghadati you remove the na tam ghadati when it is taken then nobody is tall nobody is short actually but since you refer to the body yatta dhigancha rasancha anuthula subha ashubha यथ नामच रूपंच नाउ हियर इज अ प्रॉब्लम अधिवचन संफस्स ऑन वन साइड अटिग संफस ऑन अदर साइड विथ व्हाट नामकाय रूपकाय नाउ द विज्ञान कम्स होल्डिंग ऑन टू इट इट हैज गॉट द फ्यूल आई कैरी यू द अदर डे वे सेइंग विद नो नॉर्दर्न वॉल नो सदर्न वॉल नो ईस्टर्न वॉल नो वेस्टर्न वॉल विद द सन बी एबल टू शाइन नो बाय because this rupakaya is not there namakaya is not there if both are not there there no adivachana there no atigga and hence vinyana doesn't get a footing if vinyana doesn't have a footing it doesn't have any resources what resource ayu and usma yes and then in that quote pavasaram uh, itam chittam But the second says it's uh, corrupted by kilesha, kilesha, yes. right? Yes. I feel like the ultimate kilesha is the nama rupa. Yes, the, it the is. Nama. It is. It's not your raga. It's, yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason when Buddha did the five aggregates, iti rupa, iti rupa sa samudayo, iti rupa sa thangamo. What he did is he put the pati samudpada in five aggregates. You really see, iti rupa. What is rupa? कभी आपो तेजो वायो वर्ण रस गंध ओज नथिंग टू बी इमेजिन कैन सी रूप से समुदय आहार समुदय रूप समुदय यू हैव फूड कैन सी द रूप नो फूड नो रूप ना आहार निरोधो रूप निरोधो इट्स आ ठंगम सनसेट सो व्हेन यू से समबडी डाइड हु डाइड द रूप हैज become such a fragile thing it can't hold it so now you throw it out just like a fruit has fallen down it has got corrupted it has got completely decomposed what do you do with that fruit throw it athangam then vedana asa samudayo vedana samudayo what is vedana chakku sampajya savedana ghana sampajya savedana we just memorize it no experience it. what is chakku sampasit savedana it is chakuncha paticcha rupe cha upajati chakku vinyanam tinna sangati phasso phasso pachaya vedana 
if we miss it we miss the dhamma meaning we miss the teaching to understand the world dhamma meaning the natural law of arising and passing away only with the condition of the i with the object comes the i consciousness not otherwise and when they come they come together that is because of the fuss so when we look at adivachana sampassa and patigga sampassa there is fuss sampassa that fuss is created out of what out of the interaction of vijnana with this nama and rupa Yes, and and then previously when you're describing how this baby is growing from embryo and all that, uh, I was thinking because there's four a uh, four aharas, right? Aharas. The 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 body is getting its own food, but at the same time the namakaya is also getting its own food, and because the namakaya wants to get the food, it's making this rupakaya grow. So it's driving in that way. Yes, and, and the vinyana. gives that experience to both nama kaya mm. and rupa kaya and I, i was thinking when the nama kaya gets food it also can kind of store in its kama in the field exactly yes yes achit you are on mute did you address this question that you have written yesterday on um, youtube and whatsapp that what does what what is chitta and how different is from vedana or any other tradition I think that is not important. But last one: What does it mean by this statement? Where Vedna and Buddha Dharma start? We haven't taken that. Vedanta ends. Last, last, ah, one, last one is Vedanta end. Where Vedna? Vedanta ends. <laughs> That's the reason I told you twice. It is not Vedana ends. Buddha Dharma start. Then you are done. Oh. Oh, so Vedanta, <laughs> sorry, I am done. So let us. I I can talk about the Vedanta thing. So, what no, is Vedanta? Sense. So it means the sara of the Veda is one way of putting, or the ending of the Veda is another way of putting. That is essence of Vedas. If you, in a nutshell, you where to put? It is like this. you who over that you is is lost in sansara by removing the the avidya that is ignorance you let go of that you so that the higher you is seen for the point and that is vedan that is from dual come to a dvaita non dual now what is this dual dual means i exists and that also exists meaning i am experiencing individually and that is seeing my experience whatever that is let's call it as om Let's call it as God. Let's call it as Brahman. Let's call it as whatever. So in the Vedanta, Brahman, not Brahma, Brahman, one whose mind has completely elevated, no obstacle, is Brahman. It's from the root word Br, means to expand. Man is mind. One whose mind is completely expanded meaning it knows the knower of all it feels the feeler of all it has perception of all and all knowing all pervading one single consciousness which seems separated is brahman and the separate entities called as human beings or deva and brahma and animal and all of this are part of that one only there is nothing like you are existing individually to that and when you understand this 
that you are part of that tat tvam asi now you have dropped this it's a classical example of pot and clay you throw the clay if the pot no you keep the clay throw the pot yes because clay cannot be thrown so that's a base pots can be thrown because it's nowhere you'll find a pot you'll find only the clay that means nowhere you'll find a vilas or a sachin or anyone all that you find is only brahman this is a dvaita no second only one and hence it becomes sat chittanam sat is truth chit is consciousness ananda is the bliss its swarupa that is its own nature is what shivoham shivoham it doesn't distinguish it doesn't weigh out it doesn't compare it is always auspicious in the most sinner of the sinner also it exists a most saint of a saint it exists with the worst animal also it exists the domesticated animal also it exists let's say a tiger and a cow cow supposed to be very good but same consciousness is there in tiger also but tiger is ferocious yeah it is a chitta its chitta is corrupted and hence it's like that so if we take this view what happens is clay is there and you throw the pot and when you do this you come into a state called a turiya fourth so jagrata swapna shushupti and turiya the state of four means that you are awakened to the reality what is real brahman satya jagat mithya now this is where vedanta ends meaning you have come till the 31st realm of existence now where vedanta ends there the buddha begins meaning he attained the eight jhana and saw that still i exist is there that means the dukkha is there <coughs> existence is dukkha of any form because the nature is anat anicca and you can't call it as yourself because it is anatta no chitta is yours and hence dukkha and since he saw uddaka ramaputta or uddalaka maharshi one of the most proficient and prominent maharshi at that time he saw that this also doesn't lead to the extinction or rather extinguishment a complete cessation of defilement it's only suppressing the defilement and hence he started his journey so wherever whatever we have seen as shankaracharya or this acharya that acharya talks about the turiya state even in the uh yoga vasishta which is a very good explanation especially the sapta bhumika if somebody practices can come to turiya he doesn't have to go through the buddha teaching to begin with he can come to the turiya state and immediately get into the buddha teaching wherein instantaneously he can get into arhat phala samapatti why just like bahiya bahiya never had any formal buddha teaching he never had in fact he went and asked someone and that someone said i can't answer this the only person who can answer this your state of your mind is buddha go to him and so he went 
in search of Buddha. And he didn't ask him anything. Only Buddha said, Oh, you are forcing me to tell you something. Look, by here you do this following. Dite dite mattam, sute sute mattam, mute mute mattam, vinyate vinyate mattam. When you do like that, you are not in this, you are not in that, you are neither in ubhaya andare. You are not in the middle, you are not in the beginning, you are not in the end. And Bahiya was able to pick it up. Why? He came out of Neva Sanya Na Sanya Ayatana instantly. So there are two ways of reaching to the point of Buddha. One, you directly follow the Buddha path without any distortion. Good. Are you? Eight. So what? Yeah, okay. go ahead, go ahead. So what is this and that, uh, nothing, uh, this and that in the context of the three days discussion? Tattvam, tattvam Asi. You are that. Natena. Natat. Mm -hmm. See, in the, let me explain to you in this way. Have you seen a mirage in your life? Achin? Seen completely? Okay. The more you run towards it, what happens? It goes far. The more you retreat, what happens? It comes near. Try this now. On a hot sunny day, when the road is curved like this, you'll see water. When you're, and we saw it when we were going to Shravasti. I, in, fact, in fact, I told you also. So there is a mirage. As you go near, it keeps on going far. What if, if you are going back, it starts to come near? In these two ends, there is a middle. Craving connects this and that. Anha is actually a mirage experience, craving. And hence in Sanskrit it is called a Trishna, thirst. In English it is called craving, but actually it is thirst. There is a thirst for existence. You want to exist. There is a thirst for existence. Why? You are this end and that is that end. And there is an open in between. Tena Tatta. Tena, Tatta, Ubhayam Antare. Now, the usual way of doing things is to tie both ends with the middle. Usual way. Six senses is one end, the objects are another end. Vinyana is the joining. With Tanha, craving. Craving is a seamstress. You stitch it up. So the vinyana now gives you that experience, whatever you are seeing now, and hearing now, tasting now, touching now, and sensing. So when he says, Bahia, dite dite mattam, don't go near that mirage. Don't go near that mirage. It's a mirage, it's not there. Stop short of grasping it. Now, in the Vedanta, you learn beautifully. It's a beautiful thing. Is to drop the pot. It's not easy. But Viveka Chudamani helps you to remove the pot forever. So you are relieved. Wow! No wife, no son, no daughter, no father, no mother, no this, no that. It's all designations. It's a relief. So between Jeevi, Jagat, Ishwara, Jeevi is understood. Jagat is removed. Leaving only Jeevi and Ishwara now. 
Ishvara is the clay, Jeevi is the pot. So now you come to the second stage. When you leave the Jeevi itself, leading on to Ishvara. Why? Because you are Ishvara. There's nothing else. You are the consciousness. You are one and non-ending consciousness. Vinyanam, Anidasanam, Anantam, Sabbato, Pabham. You are that. Now there is a problem. As long as this consciousness exists, it will be in search of fear. So when the defilements come, whenever it comes, now the vinyana from anidasan becomes nidasan. So there is no extinguishment. And hence Uddhanaka Maharshi, even though he taught Buddha, this great thing called as Nevasanya Nasanayatana, Buddha upon reflection saw that till the defilements are there. Defilement of what? The Tanha. Craving for existence is there. He is going to run behind that mirage. If not today, some other day. So he wanted to come out. So if somebody follows Viveka Chudamani to its complete essence, he will reach the eighth jhana without having to know anything at all of, of Buddha Dhamma. Like Bahia. Now Bahia need not be a Sotapanna to begin with, need not be a Sakadagami to begin with, need not be an Anagami, need not be knowing, ah, this is Anicca, Dukkha, Anatta, all that. No. Bahia had nothing to do with it. And yet he became an Arhat. Because defilements ended. That's all what it is. Which route you come, I don't know. The defilements are ended. No rebirth. So somebody asks Ananda during the Parinibbana of Buddha. How does somebody come back? The defilements are there. How does somebody not come back? When defilements are not there. What are the defilements? Tanha. So, four noble truth. Jati, that is Dukkha Satcha, Dukkha Samudaya Satcha, Dukkha Nirodha Satcha, Dukkha Nirodha Gamini Patipada. Dukkha Satcha, the six senses. Dukkha Samudaya Satcha, the craving for the six senses. That is, two ends and a middle. Tena Tatta Ubhaya Mantare. So I am doing that only. So if somebody were to ask me, will you come back? Answer should be yes. Why? Arupatan. Arupatan. No, Vilas, you are an anagami. That itself is a tanha. Craving. What craving? I am here. I should be here. That craving. I am entertaining craving. Rebirth is certain. In where? Paramaralam. Aren't you happy now? Why? Existence. So the craving is not only for sensuality, craving is for existence. And the Vedanta craves for existence. Satchitananda. Nothing wrong in that. But you should know how to cut that also. And hence Buddha was accused of being an annihilationist. And that is the Yamaka Sutta. Anyway. Yes. Yes, Achin. So when you are out of body experience and body experience, both of them are not jhana, right? Or yes. Okay. 
No, 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 nowhere. See, it is a random experience. It can happen to anyone. Need not be an, uh, any a polished meditator like me. Even a dumb person will have it. But can I enter into that state? Yes. Now, if I were to sit for meditation, sit in the sense not really sitting in closed eyes, like today in the park, or forget the park, today I was walking in the road. Instantly I can get into that experience with eyes open. How can it's not even that is not a jhana? It is a jhana. Okay. It is a jhana because you can enter into that jhana. And that one was not a jhana. The two of them is not jhana. Got it. Makes sense. Nothing to do with any jhanas. Meaning, like uh, Sachin, currently, the state of my mind is, if I want to enter into any jhana, I can do it with, at my will. I can will it and I can be there in that. See, as an example, I'll tell you. Now, in near this home, there is a school. Just one block away. This window, one block away and... Uh, Aryu has seen there is no building. Mine is a top floor and after that there are lower buildings and there is one school. They are practicing for the celebration of Independence Day on Monday. Oh sorry, Tuesday. So they are blowing horns, trumpets and a lot of things. Nothing is entering in my ear. Even though it is coming directly, nothing is entering. So what I can do is, at will, I can close all the six senses. So nothing happens. And I can enter into jhana. Right now. Whichever jhana that is. You want me to make light, I can do it. Sitting with eyes open, I can do that. But I am not able to do the past life regression using that. That I need to learn from the Samana Parasutta. Are we done then? If there is so much of silence, means yes, Jordan. Yes, so that's right. Now I just wish to stop the craving which I experience in the absence of pleasure, in the presence of pain. Tired of seeking to be blissed out, would rather be in the middle. Yes. See, as you end the craving for jhana, the jhana just follows you because it is a, like a mirage. When you stop doing something, it follows you. When you want to do something, it goes up. The typical problem what Aryu is facing is he's going behind it. I need it. It's going back and back. Oh, come, 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 come. I'll go back. I'll go back. So, using his vinyana, he is trying to say that I am coming, I am coming, I am coming. Now it goes even back. So, give up. He is your Ananda. One day, he will give up and suddenly he will become. Yes. See, yesterday also I was talking to him why I love Haryu so much. Is that he has everything. Meaning, the how much suffering he has undergone, I have seen him in the last four years. And I was telling one of our friend, saying that I doubt whether I can undergo that suffering. As much as suffering what Aryu has undergone. Not even one percent I have suffered as much as what he has suffered. So there is so much to learn from him. So he has got baked properly. Right? A pot is completely baked with the heat. So it, it is complete. I, I, I always wish that sooner he gets everything because the amount of pain he has undergone in his personal life, I doubt anyone can really undergo. And I also know about you, Sachin, but I know your personal life as well, so there's no point in talking in open. But he's, he's undergone recently, you are, you are undergone forever, 
So compared to both of you, my life is wonderful. But that is untrue because of my parami, it is like this. So what I need to appreciate in both of you is you have stood that typhoon or that thunder or that cyclone or whatever we can say, which has made you more stronger than me. There's so much to learn from both of you. So when you narrated the story, Sachin, while we were going on the road, I felt that so much to learn from you. And there's so much to learn from Ariu because he is, I've seen him. I've seen his days. He's the longest friend I ever had on this Dhamma journey. Long-standing friend, if I could call. And I always feel not towards him. Anything I'm learning, I feel it's because of him. Because I keep on observing him. So I want everything to go to him. Any, any good deed I do should go to him so that he gets liberated. Yes, sir, you go ahead. Wanted to say something. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking the dukkha you take, it's like a, a battery, you're charging your battery for Dhamma. Yeah. <laughs> so the more dukkha you, you take, the, you have more battery life. Now you, you can. Oh, yeah, we, we, we all go through the hard patches. There's so much of learning to be done. We all have dukkha only in the end, no matter how pleasing it looks, but ultimately it is dukkha. So when I watch, especially Naveen and you and Aryu and so many other people, and more with you, Sachin, after you narrated your whole story, it really feels what is more dukkha or what is more enlightening factors that is required to see life sufficient. I am deluded actually because I have never seen such things. I have never seen from my childhood till date. I have never seen. But yet I have given up. But yet. Okay. But when I see yours, you are such an inspiration to me. Both of you, especially Ariu, because I've seen him for a lot. And uh, I've seen how he takes care of his son also. So there's so much to learn. I mean, so much to take as an inspiration, to not to give up. But he has not given up, and neither you have Sachin. So I feel so much to catch up with both of you. So I always wish that you get more than what I get. Because you are more big than me. I am uh, not that big, to be honest. Uh, you start baking at least from 700 feet AD and all that. <laughs> Probably before that. Yeah. You, are out of, you are out of factory. <laughs> no, but you would also would have had your past lives. Past problems would be there. Anyway, good, good to discuss for long. I don't know about Anusha. She is... I, I think she is fine with her voice now, at least. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, she's here. I thought she's gone. <laughs> no, no, she's there. She's there. I mean, we have held her quite a long time. It's in the evening for her. Yes, Anusha. May I please ask about the Bhavanga Chitta and the witness consciousness? Is there a similarity? We'll ask you. Yeah, Bhavanga is a term used in the Abhidhamma and it is what is called as the witness. Javana Chitta is one thing and Bhavanga Chitta is another thing. So Bhavanga is that Chitta which just participates, it doesn't have anything. So the Javana Chitta is seven Chittas which arises with as soon as something is going to pass away. Yes, yes, Jordan, thanks for joining and uh, very good night to you. Okay, so that's the witness function. Right. Done. Okay, good day and good night. A good night, Ariu, and to your son and uh, the remaining people. A very good day. Good day ahead.